Hi all welcome to Supply Chain Management Channel. Today we will see what is bullwhip effect, what are causes and how to overcome same. The bullwhip effect refers to a scenario in which small changes in demand at the retail end of the supply chain become amplified when moving up the supply chain from the retail end to the manufacturing end. Here is example of how bullwhip effect is created. Customer is facing shortage of particular item and lead time is high. Though he needs 500 PCs per month he forecasts to retailer that he needs at least 1000 PCs. Now based on customer input retailer plans for 1200 pieces per month and plans to keep 200 pieces in stock to avoid shortages. Further distributor plans 300 pieces more giving order of 1500 pieces to manufacturer. In turn manufacturer plans 2,000 pieces production and gives raw materials forecasts to supplier of 3,000 pieces keeping 1,000 pieces as safety stock. Now supplier plans for 4,000 pieces to achieve economies of scale. We can see how 500 pieces demand is spiked up to 4,000 pieces. Every stocking link point in supply chain plans excess due to fear of ad hoc orders or shortages. In end manufacturers and suppliers are overloaded with orders leading to longer lead times. Which in turn creates more havoc in further supply chain links leading to panic ordering and creates bullwhip effect. Major causes of bullwhip effect are Lead time issues in supply chain link leads to increase in lead time and causes inventory fluctuations discounts, schemes, tax changes etc. which leads to disrupt buying patterns. Incorrect demand forecasts leading inability to meet demand or ending up with too much inventory. Lack of integration and alignment between each link or stakeholder organization in the supply chain. Being too rigid with minimum order quantity at lower levels of supply. Manufacturers waiting for order pile up to achieve economies of scale. How to overcome, avoid bullwhip effect. Use of inventory management softwares to get accurate inventory details of all stocking points present in supply chain. Go for supply chain optimization. Revisit and reevaluate sales promotional discounts, schemes, MOQ etc. Improve planning process with advanced planning optimization and analytics tools. Work on reducing overall lead time. Use of advanced softwares to gauge real-time demand and trends. The bullwhip effect can be costly to all the organizations in the supply chain. Excess inventory can result in waste, while insufficient inventory can lead to increased lead time, poor customer experience and lost business. Better information is necessary to reduce the bullwhip effect. This means better communication among supply chain partners and better forecasting methods. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more supply chain management videos.